BayRose offers a variety of powerful design tools built right into the software, so you can add text, image nodes, and effects to your products without having to use another design application. These tools are especially useful when adding your logo to products or creating cards, album pages, or designs with custom text. Containers for images, text, and other elements are referred to as nodes. When creating a custom design in BayRose, we recommend starting with a blank product with no predefined elements. Tools for creating and working with image nodes and text nodes are to the upper left of the layout area. Hover over each tool to learn the name of that tool. The most important tools to know about include the Draw tool, which allows you to add new image or fill nodes, the Draw Text tool, which allows you to add new text areas, the Edit tool, which allows you to select the node that you want to edit, the Layer Down and Layer Up buttons, which allow you to change the order of the nodes on the page so you can move one behind or in front of the other, and the Hand icon which represents the image tool and allows you to drag an image to reposition it within a node. Switch to the Tools palette in the Options area to find a variety of effects and other options to support the design tools. When creating certain layouts, you may find it handy to turn on the grid. The grid won't print on your final product. It's only to help you line things up. Now let's see these tools in action. First, we'll use the Draw tool to create a new node. Grab the handles on the corner of the node to resize it. Grab the handle in the middle to rotate it. Next, let's drag an image in. Let's select the hand tool and use it to reposition the image within the node. The usual tools for rotating the image appear when the image is selected, just like when working with existing nodes. Next, we'll dress this node up a bit by adding some effects from the tools palette we talked about earlier. Use the edit tool to select the node you want to apply the effects to. There are several different effects to choose from, but for this example, we'll just add a stroke. Be sure to check the box next to stroke to apply it to your node. If you'd like, you can make the stroke wider. To choose a color from the image for your stroke color, check the box next to sample and use the color picker to get the color you want. We'll finish off this node by adding a drop shadow. You can also use the draw tool to add empty nodes that can be nice for fill colors. Next, let's try adding a text node using the Draw Text tool. Text formatting options such as fonts appear in the Tools palette when the text node is selected. To align the nodes, hold down the Shift key as you select multiple nodes. Then right-click to reveal options for arranging the nodes. This contextual menu also gives you several other important options for working with nodes, including the ability to copy, paste, and remove nodes entirely. The design tools are also handy for adding your logo to products. To add your logo as a watermark, start with a JPEG file of your logo in shades of black and gray. Select the node you'd like to apply the watermark to and go to the mask area of the tools palette. Choose the file icon and select your logo. The watermark will appear with the black area as a solid. Shades of gray in the logo will show the image through. If you would like to add your logo in full color, create a node for it and drag your logo in just like any image file. This is a PNG with a transparent background, which makes it look like the logo is embedded in the image. So as you can see, the options for creativity in Bay Rose are nearly endless. Have fun with it. And if we can be of any further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us. We're here for you.